Okay, so new problem, new questions, free response, AP Calculus AB. Um, here, we're asked here, this is where we're going, you guys, in just a second. We're going here, so just as a way to just get started. We're going to, ask to, we're going to be asked to find the volume of the solid generated when R, when R is revolved about the x-axis. So we have to go back and define R a little bit. So here it says let R. So we can read this whole thing if you want. Let f be the function given by f of x is equal to 4x squared minus x cubed. And let L be the line y equals 18 minus 3x when L is tangent to the graph of f. Let R be the region bounded by the graph of f and the x-axis. And the x-axis. So here's our, here's our bound here. Here. Um, all right, so we're asked to find this volume. And what we're going to do is we're going to revolve this thing about the x-axis. So um, maybe you can imagine, uh, I don't know, let me see if I can do it. You're a little person here. And a little person here, you're blue. Sorry. But you're a blue person. And there you go. Here's your feet. Ooh. Uh, and if you don't mind, you're jumping this rope. And this is the rope that you're jumping. Rope you're jumping is green. You're green and the rope is... Blue. Yeah? So there's the rope that you're jumping. Let's make the rope you're jumping orange so you can really see it. Huh? The rope you're jumping is orange. Yeah? So you're jumping this rope and imagine the rope changes position, doesn't it? So here, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm having a hard time drawing the depth. Here, here, it's, it's much closer. It's, it's way out in front of you, and then here, here. But if you keep jumping the rope, I hope maybe you can see that this, there's this, there's this solid that's being, uh, there's this solid that's being controlled. What we want to know is, what's the volume of that? So the way we find that out, Remember, it's about the x-axis, so what we're going to do is this. It's not too bad. Well, it wouldn't be bad if we had to do this by hand, but we don't. We're going to use calculus to do this. If we had to do it by hand, we'd have to figure out all these little pieces, all, all these disks, and sum them all together. But I don't think that we're going to be forced into doing that today. Uh, instead, we're going to do this. <coughs> take, this take this pi r squared. dx here and then this would be the this would be the volume of each piece wouldn't it so what we want to know what all the pieces are so what we're going to do is we're going to take pi times this <coughs> excuse me times this interval from 0 to 4 because that's what, 0 times 4 here of 4x squared minus x cubed, that's the radius, isn't it? Squared dx. Um, so maybe I'm oversimplifying this a little bit. I'm not trying to. But what I do know is that <coughs> on the AP Calc exam, you're going to see this on pre-response. It shows up year after year after year. And because it says x-axis, we know that this is the form that we're going to use here, yes? And we also know that on the free response, you're allowed to use your calculator. That, that sounds really good, but... <clears throat> if you don't know what to put in your calculator, you're kind of doomed, aren't you? So, let's see if we can get this onto our calculator. All right, so here we are, continuing our thing. Uh, I'm using a CAS calculator, TI Inspire CAS. This is a CX. It doesn't matter one bit. If you already have a CAS, um, just upgrade your um, operating system. It's really easy to do. You can do it by linking to somebody else's calculator who has uh, the upgraded operating system, or you can do it online. It's free, and I think um, it's the middle of the summer, 2011, and I think the top uh, version is 3.0, I think. So a lot of you might have 1.7. If you update it to a 3.0, you, your calculator turns into a CX, except it's not in color, and a couple other small things. So, okay, let's do this. What you're going to do is you're going to go down here and you're going to choose menu 
Um, so you, you'd hit this button. For me, I'm going to go here and do it, but I'm going to get the same place. Go to Calculus. Um, oh, you know what? Let's not do that yet. Let's not do that yet. What we want to do first is we to put in this equation. We want to put in, we'll put in pi, right? We'll put in pi, right? That's what we said we're going to do. And then radius squared, right? So pi times, open the parentheses, and it is 4 x squared minus x cubed, right? So when we cube something, we use this caret right there, get cubed, close the parentheses, because we need to square that whole thing, don't we? Right? Whoops. Whoa, 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 that didn't work. That's all right, that's cool, no problem. Don't give up, it's gonna be fine. Don't never freak out, it's always good. And then we'll square that there, okay? That's not bad, right? Shoot, I did screw up. All right, hopefully you're staying with me still. I know I might be a moron, as it turns out. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to here. I wanted to go to tools. I want to go to calculus, because we want to take an integral, right? Integral, and we want that integral from zero, right? Because those are our boundaries. We want the from zero four, right, of, you know, I'm going to put this in twice like that, 4x squared minus x cubed, right, close the parenthesis, what in the hell, right, and then we're going to square that, yes, dx and we hit enter uh, if you get this answer you're like oh my god well first off if you're taking the AP exam you can leave it like that that's a perfect answer uh, if you want it in a different form you can recognize you can do it this way and this is the approximate value however <clears throat> if you leave it in this form right here you can put equal the volume is equal to that thing however if you change it if you use that control uh, enter button, you can see what you get. When you hit control enter, you get this thing down here, and it's the approximation side. Then you must put the approximation side on your test. All right, so we need all of our points. So the volume is. So the volume is approximately equal to this. So here's your answer, and there's your supporting work. All right, okay, good work. I, I hope it was helpful for you.